Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical D shape. In the previous tutorials we discussed about how to print stars in alphabetical A, B and C shape. And code is similar. We need to do few modification in the code and we'll get the stars in alphabetical D shape. Okay, alright, we'll begin with our code. Okay, for that first we'll see the output and here we can see the stars in different row and column. Here there are 7 row and 5 columns and we need to print stars in different row and column and in some places we need to print space, right? So, to print stars in different row and column we are using loops that is one for loop for row and another is for column, okay? So for that I'll use for and I'll use variable as row in range 7. It's because there are 7 rows are there in our output. That's why I mentioned 7 here. Here range 7 means it is 0 to 7. So it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So inside this I'll take another for loop. It is for column. And I'll use variable name as call and in range 5. Here 5 because in our output there are 5 columns are there. That's why I used 5 here. If you want you can change these numbers. So inside this we are using if else condition. Because in the output we can say in some row and column we want to print star. And in other place we want to print space. So we are using if else conditional statement, okay? And first we'll see in which row and column stars are present. And first here we can see column 0, we can see stars. Here we can see. So we need to print stars in the column 0. Next we can see column 4, right? We need star. But here in the column 4, we can see in the row 0 and row 6 there is no star so in column 4 we need to check whether row is equal to 0 and row is equal to 6 at that time we don't want star so first we'll check whether column is equal to equal to 0 if column is equal to 0 we want star or this is the logical or operator in the logical or operator if both the input are false then only output is false otherwise it is true okay and i'll mention the next condition that is i'll check whether column is equal to equal to 4 in that time i must check row should not be equal to 0 and row should not be equal to 6 right okay this condition is because in the column 4 we can check we want star in the column 4 at row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5. But at that time row should not be 6 and row should not be 0, right? That's why here we are checking whether column is equal to 4. If it is true, then this must be true. That's why I used logical AND here. In the case of logical AND, if both the inputs are true then only output is true so if it is true then this must be true right that's why i used and not or here in this case if it is true then it will print star or if it is true then also it will print star if both the condition false then only output will be false next here we already done with column 0 and column 4 now we'll see row right that is here we can see stars in row 0 and row 6 and here this part is already done and this part is already done so now we need to concentrate on these three star and these three stars okay so i need star at row 0 and row 6 but at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 right so here i'll mention 
this is my another condition so i'll mention or and in that i'll check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 6 but at that time column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4 okay so i'll put them together okay this is my third condition where we are checking whether row equal to 0 or row equal to 6 but at that time this condition must be true that is column must be greater than 0 and less than 4 that's why i used and here okay this is my whole condition and here we can see there are three conditions that is first we'll check whether column is equal to 0 if it is true then i want to print this star okay it is one condition next is another condition where we are checking whether column is equal to 4 if it is true then row must not be 0 and 6 okay this is my second condition and this is my third condition where we are checking whether row is equal to 0 or row is equal to 6 if it is true then column must be greater than 0 and less than 4 okay so colon and we'll move inside the if condition and here we'll take print statement and inside that we'll print star and here i'll take end is equal to empty string and in the print statement end is also present by default its value will be slash n but after printing one star i don't want any new line i want another star immediately after that star for example after printing this star i want this star immediately after that okay i don't want any space or new line between them that's why i mentioned end equal to empty string here and next we'll go for the else part and in the else part we'll print space that's why i'll mention end is equal to space here end is equal to space means it will print space okay here in the output we can see once we'll print this star and control goes to here here we can see this place is column 4 and row 0 at that time we don't want any star so else part will be executed at that time and it will print space here here also we can see space this is all because of this else part and next in the first for loop we'll uh, write print statement this is because after each row we want to go to the new line that is here after printing row 0 we want to go to control to the next line so for this we are using print statement here okay and now we are done with our code so save this and run this and here we can see the output okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care